Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Gadgets. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Xiaomi Mi Band 7 Pro with the Mi Fitness app on an iPhone. You can also look at the previous video if you want to connect it to Android. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, let's begin here immediately, we have the Mi Band 7 Pro, and let's see how to connect it. First, when you turn it on, it will show you the QR code for the app which it uses. So, what we're going to do now is take our phone and scan it, after we have scanned it will show us a link that sends us to the App Store. And here we have the Mi Fitness app which we can download and connect to our watch. As you can see here, we already downloaded the app and what we're going to do is go inside and see how to connect our watch. After we open the app, we will accept the terms and conditions, after that, we will choose our region. We will choose China because our watch is the Chinese version, if we choose another country may present a problem and we will not be able to connect our watch to the phone. You should also turn on your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and your GPS so you can do this process easier. Here we have the home page and we're going to press the device page and go on add device but first we should sign in with me account, as soon as we log in, we will press to agree to allow the app to access on location and it will start to search for our watch to connect. After you accept the privacy policy, we will allow me fitness to access on Bluetooth, send you notifications, and will turn on health service synchronization, it will show me Band 7 Pro on the device list where you can scan by QR code to connect it. We will scan the QR code and now it will send you a pairing request on the watch and will accept to continue the connection. Also we will allow me fitness access for notifications and use phone location while using the app. So here we have the tutorial which shows what some of the buttons do like the side button and the widgets inside when you swipe left and last the shortcuts that you can see if you swipe down. Also, we can create goals for calories, steps, and movement. Now our watch is connected successfully and we can start browsing the features that this app offers. The first option on the app is watch faces, which lets us choose from different watch faces. You can choose whichever you like best and it will change automatically. We have local faces that are on our watch, and also we have online faces if we want to download any face, we'll choose that and press to apply, and it will start to download and it will apply immediately on our watch as soon as it's ready. Next up. We have the app notification settings where we will allow me band to receive notifications from iPhone and we can choose which apps from your phone can send you notifications or if you want you can turn them off altogether. Next are health monitoring options like heart rate where we can choose if we want to have continuous heart rate monitoring, we can also turn it on and off and high and low heart rate alerts. After that, we have the sleep monitoring option if we want to leave advanced monitoring on or off. Next is blood oxygen, which we can set to measure during our sleep and the frequency that we want to use. Next, we have stress where we can choose the all-day monitoring option and relaxing remainder. Next, we have standing, here we can activate reminders to stand up, your watch will vibrate when you re-sedentary for one hour. Mi Band 7 Pro have an NFC, in the cards you can register your transport cards or similar. Down below we've got weather if we want to turn it on or off to show in our watch also we can choose the location and temperature unit. Now in Mi Band 7, we can rearrange widgets we can set which widgets you want inside your watch based on whichever you use mostly and whichever we need. And if we add or remove one it will automatically update it on your watch, as you can see here. Also we can rearrange the app list and we can sort them according to our wishes. After that, we have the app layout where you can change how you view your apps inside whether you want to see them as a grid or as a list as we have done right now. And in the end, 
We have the help center if you need anything, the check for updates option, and the about device option which shows the model, MAC address, version info, and serial number. On our left corner, we've got health where it shows our status and our history of our monitoring options, like our workout history, our sleep history, steps and how many calories we have burnt, our heart rate monitoring, and all of these stats are on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. We can see a lot of stats like energy levels, stress, standing time, VO, blood oxygen, ECG, cycles, and other things. Last but not least in the middle we have the workout option, where we can choose the activity we want to be doing like outdoor running, walking, cycling, or any other activity you want, and just press on start and your watch will start tracking your activity, the time spent and the calories lost on that activity. So, this is pretty much it on the Mi Fitness app, how to connect and what to expect inside. This was all for today's video. In the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.